Welcome back. My name is Jason Ratliff. Today we're continuing our lesson on discovering your true calling in life for the course Discovering and Living Your Purpose. So on this part of the lesson, we're going to talk about what you're good at. What, what do you love to do? We've talked about our passions earlier. We talked about our desires, all the things that we want, all of our hopes and dreams. Still continue to think about those. If you remembered a few more, write them down because it's going to be important as we go along in this course. So yeah, today let's talk about what you're good at. And let's also talk about what type of experience you have and what you've succeeded at. So let's talk about uh, what your talents are. Where, what area of, of industry or of expertise are you best fitted at this moment of time? At this moment in time, what have you done very well? You know, where, where do you work right now? And have you been successful at doing it? Or what type of business do you own? And what part of that business have you been doing well? You could be in uh, a business, being a manager. You could be, uh, you could be dealing with uh, purchasing. You could be dealing with customer service. You could be dealing with sales. Tell me all about this. So we could square away at what you're good at. And what have you been doing the last few years that you've excelled at? If you're at a job that you don't like, well, that's fine. But what have you done well at that job? Have you ever been commended for the work that you've done? Have you ever been rewarded for what you've done? Sometimes we get hard on ourselves because we're doing a job that we may not agree with or in an industry that we don't really have a passion or even care about but what do we gain out of these experiences what we can gain out of it is character building what we gain out of it is, is how our attitude is what we gain out of it is responsibility self-responsibility of taking care of yourself taking care of your family bills or whatever it may be you may also have to deal with customers, as in many of our uh, many businesses revolve around uh, customers, client base, and performance is based on how well you treat your customer, or your performance may be based on productivity. And are you good? Are you very productive? Think about that. How efficient are you? Are you? Have you? come up with plans on making your job easier? Or are you in charge of project management? Are you in charge of budgeting? Think about it in all of this. You may, you may be a business owner and you deal with every aspect of this, from inventory to sales, to customer service, to all of these areas. So, where you work right now, what are you gaining from it? What can you put on your resume? What type of reputation have you built? If you want to change industries altogether, that is fine. But what you take with you is the experience, but the experience of the type of person that you've become after being there. Has it made you a better person overall? Have you become resentful? If you have, then we may want to look back at how we are, how our attitude is towards our job or where we're at, and may want to rethink that and change our attitude a bit, at least for a certain amount of time until you are able to move on to the next, to the next level or to the next um, phase in your life as you sometimes have to deal with it, I guess you could say, or you have to, or, or leave. So 
those are your options. If you don't like it, then there's the door, you can leave. Or if, you, if that's not an option for you, obviously, well then you know what you have to do. You have to change your attitude a bit to, to make it the best that you can. Or work towards making those changes. So what you're good at is what we are trying to um, focus on, on today. Look at all the things that you've done well at your job or your, your business. Have you been uh, established good clientele? Have you been good to them? Have you provided great service and dedication? Um, do you provide an uh, excellent product or a service? Look at all of that. Also, you want to look at um, what type of, what, where have you succeeded? What, what have you been good at? And, and what you've been good at, we can then take that aspect and use it to revolve around your business or your next uh, business uh, industry. Sometimes we need that motivation or that optimism to show that, hey, I can do this. So don't be so hard on yourself if you are not uh, where you want to be at the current moment. But also look at, hey, I've been successful at doing this at least, even though it's not what I really want to do but it is being successful regardless. So being successful in anything is, is hard work. It takes hard work and it takes some dedication. So please don't be hard on yourself in this matter. The whole point of this exercise is to narrow it down of what you're good at, but also to show that you are capable. You have the ability and the potential to take your, take the ne next phase of your life and the experience with you. Whether it be the character building or your attitude. Let's try to keep our attitude positive, even if we are in a situation where we don't like very much. Or, like I said earlier, start working towards making changes. And as we get into further into this course, we are going to be talking about how about how we're going to go about making those changes which I don't want to talk about too much right now but as we the next part of our our lesson of this lesson is discovering your purpose so looking at the, the desires and looking at the passion that you have and looking at what you're good at and the hobbies the hobbies and what you're good at and then taking that and then trying to figure out how does all of this come together to my purpose? How does it serve my purpose on this planet, in my life? How is it going to help me succeed or where I want to be or where I want to grow? That is going to be talking about discovering your purpose. And we might as well continue right now. So what do you want to accomplish in life? Is it business? Is it owning your own business? Is it re having an impact on people's lives? And then in what way are we looking about being helping people in on a medical level? Becoming a doctor, nurse, helping on a mental level, helping on a peaceful level, helping on a physical level. It might be helping someone rehab their, their body. Maybe they were injured or maybe they were trying to learn to walk again. That might be what you were looking for. Look at what your, your heart wants when we're, when we're trying to narrow down what, um, what you want accomplished in life. And it's usually something that's been with you for your whole life. When you were a child, hey, I wanted to become a doctor when I was a kid. Or I want to become a race car driver. Or I want to be famous. You know, look at Look at those things, and why did you want to be those things? Let's say you want to be a race car driver. Maybe you like high speed. Maybe you want to feel good, the thrill of it. Maybe you would like to enjoy the thrill of life. Maybe you want others to experience that same thrill of life that you have. And in turn, that thrill for life provides someone with a contentment and peace, and they find peace in their life. Also, the wanting to be famous. A lot of times 
in our early life, we want the material things. We want to be famous. We want to be noticed. We want to be recognized because we don't have the full self-esteem that uh, we have as we grow up and we learn and have confidence and build confidence in ourselves and our self-esteem. So the being wanting to be famous is you know, somewhat shallow in the beginning of your life, but then if you're using this being famous, being well-known, to reach out to a larger amount of people, then now we see what purpose that is serving. As if you could use it for a platform to be a good example for your people, for your fans, or for uh, the people that uh, that may see you, may witness witness you in action. I think that's that's what ultimately drives us too. Uh, we we like that recognition, but at the same time. We like to see that, hey, we've made an impact on, on people's lives. So look at all of that. And uh, as we continue along, we're going to delve into this topic some more and discovering your true calling in life. But let's take a break for now, and I hope that you are able to really think and harness all the thoughts and, and ideas that have come to surface and to write down what most stands out and most, most important in your life and what, what means the most to you. So once again, I'm Jason Ratliff. Let's continue this later for the Self-Help Made Simple Academy for discovering and living your purpose. Take care for now. I'll talk to you later.